For those of you who have followed me for more than two weeks on the YouTubes and various other places, you know that I have read The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and it is an amazing, amazing book. And I thought that I would give my honest opinion as to the content uh, without, of course, spoiling it. So the first thing I noticed about The Fault in Our Stars is that John Green has effectively eliminated his voice in this particular book. And I think it's because there's a female protagonist as opposed to a male protagonist in the previous books. There were some times where Augustus was speaking and I was like, oh, that's John Green. Okay, I, I get that. But generally speaking, I... I didn't hear John's voice when I was reading Hazel. While reading The Fault in Stars, you're gonna have all of the emotions. You're gonna have rage, you're gonna have sadness, you're gonna have joy, you're gonna have happiness. Uh, all of the emotions are fairly well balanced in the book. Uh, and that, I think, is one of the things that really makes it such a good book. It's not infinitely sad, it's not infinitely funny, it's... It's very well balanced, and I like that about the book a lot. The other thing I really like about the book, and it's something that John has talked about before, is that it's... It's really a real story about sick kids. Growing up, I was best friends with a couple of really sick kids who are actually dead now. Um, they weren't sick with cancer, but they had other things that were getting them in and out of hospitals and various other things like that. And and so, yeah, the reality that John portrays in this book is is strikingly real. That's part of the sadness. That's also part of the joy and part of the, the charm of the book is that it's just such a real account. Uh, and John really captured what it means to be a sick kid, even though he only spent you know, five or six months in a chaplaincy, uh, it, it was it's very evident that he really connected with um, the people that he was working with. And so that's, uh, it's, it's, it's a good part of the book. One of the things you'll find about the book that uh, I don't think I realized as I was watching the past year and a half of Vlogbrothers videos is that a lot of the things that happen in the Vlogbrothers videos, including some of the actual words that John speaks, are some of the dialogue that happens in the book. And I, that may be a spoiler for some people, and I'm sorry if that is, but I mean, I'm not being specific about things. I mean, certainly the book stands alone as itself, but with all of that history that we have with John and Hank as vlog brothers, I think that it definitely adds a, a new wrinkle to the whole thing. Also, I was fortunate enough to get the audiobook read by John, and unsurprisingly, because we've seen John forever, he has a very good reading voice, and he makes it a, a super interesting story by the way that he reads the character. I, I like John's take on, on the characters and the way he that he reads them and, and their inflections. I'm interested to, to also read or listen to the audiobook read by the other woman. I don't remember what her name is, but I'm interested to hear that one as well at some point because I'd like to see her take on the character because it really reading a book is is a it's much like acting and uh, and I think that your characters are developed in a different way and the way that you read them is completely different each time. So that's about all I can say without spoiling the book. If you haven't read it, you need to go grab the hard copy of the book at your any local store. Of course, you can buy it on Amazon or Get it on your Kindle, because it's amazing. Okay, so I will say this one very small spoiler, and if you are the kind of person that can't hear any spoilers whatsoever, I will not begrudge you clicking away from the video. This is why I put this clip at the very end of the video, so you can just go ahead and go away now. There is a very small, slight spoiler, but it's the kind of thing that really affected me when I was reading the book. So there's this time in the book, very near the beginning, where Hazel gets a headache, and the way that John describes her feelings, emotions, and thought process during the time that she had a headache, and the amount of pain that she was in during the time that she had a headache, very much reminded me of when I was about 11 and a half years old, and I had a tumor that was growing in between my brain halves, and it was pushing my brain against the side of my skull, and making my f***ing whole world suck so bad. I would be out for seven or eight days in a row with these massive headaches, couldn't eat anything, couldn't sleep, couldn't see light, anything like that. Uh, and the way that he described that is very, very, very accurate. It's really unimportant why Hazel Grace had a headache, but the fact that she got this particular headache was the kind of thing that just really, really wrenched at my heart and, uh, and made me realize that John Green had done some significant research into the way that sick kids um, are really, and, and it just reminded me of being a sick kid. Uh, and I remember having, you know, cocktails of f***ing drugs and, you know, painkillers and all this other crap being shoved into me and, uh, and really hating it, uh, like a lot. So, um, so thanks, John, for, for really understanding what it's like to be a sick kid and, and writing a, a story that's, that's